I'm new to my YouTube channel. To this video, we'll be dealing with um, compound interest. Let's look at this question. It says, Mr. Pile's daughter planned to get married in two years. And he has decided to invest money into an Ellen Gray account so that he can save toward the wedding. He decides to invest 13000 into this account. Ellen Grain offered him 17,59% per annum, compounded half yearly. For a period of two years and a half, for a period of two and a half years. Note an annuity is a form of insurance or investment entitling the investor to a series of annual sums. Okay, what we have in this question or in the statement, we are having a principal amount. The principal amount here is equal to what? 13,000 rands. This is the, this is the amount he initially invested. And another important information that we have here is the interest rate. Interest rate offered to him, it was 17,59% per year. But compounded half yearly, you divide this by two. This 17, 59% is for the whole year, but it is compounded half yearly. Then we divide it by two, knowing that you're going to receive this interest twice in a year. But at the end of the year, he's going to receive 17,59 for the whole year. But each and every six months, they will offer him a, a certain percentage. So we just have to check because they said compounded half yearly. We're going to say 17,59 divide by two um, is eight comma uh, avoid rounding this off just write it the way it is eight comma seven nine five percent each and every six months this person will be receiving eight comma seven five 8,795, I mean, 8,795 percent each and every six months because it is said it is compounded half yearly. So, this is the information that we are having. And we know that this person have invested for how long? For two and a half years. Two and a half years. That is the information that we have. So, if we look at the first question, now they want to us to calculate the total amount that Ms. Uh, Mr. Pillay will have in his account after two years. The investment is for two and a half years, but we need to calculate what we'll have after two years. So what we need to do, because we know that under um, compound interest, the interest is calculated from what? From accumulated uh, amount. So because it's two years and we know that each and every uh, one year is having two halves. So we are going to do the calculation four times. So first year, we're going to have first year calculations. This one is for the first year. On first year calculations, we're going to have the first half and second half. Let's do the calculation of the first year. If you look at the first year, first half of the first year, we are having 13,000. Multiply by 8,795. This is the interest that he is going to get on the first year. We divide this by 100 because this is the interest rate. 
So the interest that you're gonna get on the first half of first year is going to be 13,000 multiplied by 8,795. This is over 100. We find that the interest that is going to receive is 1,143.35 cent. So the total amount that is going to receive after the first six months ends is going to be the interest plus the initial amount of 13,000. So when the first half of the year finishes, in his account is going to be 1,000, uh, 14,000, I mean, 143 and 35 cent. So this is the amount that is going to have at the end of first half of first year. How did we calculate this one? We just calculated the half yearly interest rate or the half yearly interest of 13,000. We found that it's a 1,143 and 35 cent. We just add this interest from the principal. We add this interest to the inter, uh, to the principal amount, I mean, which is 13,000. We found that during the first six months of his investment, he's going to have 14,143 and 35. So now this is our accumulated amount. When we move to the second half of the year, we move to this amount. We are going to calculate the very same interest rate of the interest is going to be 8,795 over what? Over 100. Multiply by what? Multiply by the accumulated amount of 14, 14, 3,35. Find that at the end of the second half of the first year, this person is going to uh, receive the interest rate of this amount. Let me do, do the calculation. 795 divided by 100. The interest is going to be 1,200. The interest is going to be 1,243 and 91 cent plus the accumulated amount of 14 14 3, at the end of the second half of the first year he is now having this in his bank bank account Uh, 15,000 15,387 and 26 this is what we have then when we are done with the first year we do the same thing second year now we are moving to second year second year we are also having first half and second half I'm going to use different pen to do the calculation of a second year. So now our accumulated amount is 15,387 and 26. We must calculate the interest rate of this or the interest of this amount, which is going to be 8,795 divided by 100. Multiply by 15,387,26. So, when we do that, we find that uh, our interest rate, our, our, our interest, I mean, uh, using this same interest rate, is going to be 1,353. 1,353. 53 and 31 cent we add 
with the accumulated amount of 15,387.26. And then at the end of the first half of second year, he is now sitting at, um, do the calculation. Is now sitting at 16,740. 16,740 and 57 cents. Now we move to the last half of second year. We do the very same thing. Interest is going to be 8,795 divided by 100. Multiply by the accumulated amount. Our accumulated amount here is 16,740 and 57 cent. So when we do the calculations here, we're going to have uh, 8,795 over 100. Multiply by 16,740 and 57 cent. We found that the interest that you're going to receive on the last half of second year is going to be 1,472 and 33 cent plus the previous accumulated amount of 16,740 and 57 cent. We found that after two years, he is now going to receive um 18000 18212 and 90 cent so yes the investment was invested for two and a half years but the calculation they wanted us to calculate what he, he is going to receive after two years so we are going to end here this is our final answer this is compound interest when you calculate the compound interest you must take in mind uh, the interest rate whether it was compounded daily compounded annually compounded monthly compounded weekly comp compounded half yearly so because this one is compounded half yearly you take the interest rate you divide it by two then you begin to use eight comma seven nine five do not use 17 comma 59 the 17 comma 59 is for the whole year and they're saying that this is compounded half yearly meaning that this person is going to receive the interest rate each and every half of the year and we know that in a year we're having two halves so we're going to do the cal two calculations in each and every year thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to comment don't forget to um leave questions on the comment sections